How's it going, my friends? It's Erica with Not Your Average EDC, and today we are doing a pocket dump. Haven't done one of those in a while. Uh, Google is also dumping with us, so hopefully she doesn't knock the camera over. But um, spring has sprung. We are carrying lots and lots of gear. Uh, times are changing at work, and um, we got a couple of truckloads of plants and herbs and all kinds of fun stuff. So uh, basically, busy season has begun, which means tools are getting used even more than they already were. Uh, so let's just do a pocket dump and talk about what I'm carrying for uh, spring slash summer and why I carry it. Everybody loves these, right? Um, we'll get the boring bullshit over with first that literally no one cares about, but we have to include it because it is real life. Phone, still have the cracked, completely shattered iPhone that puts glass shards into my fingers every time I use it. Um, lucky dog chapstick, and I think that's all the boring stuff. Okay, wallet, still rocking the fail-safe goods, uh, I think it's called a Sidewinder wallet. So it's a handmade leather wallet from my friend Ryan over at Failsafe Goods. Um, it has a horizontal... Wow. She is just all over the place. Look at, look at her pointing. That is a real hunting dog right there. Um, horizontal pocket here, and then we have a vertical one. Uh, they usually do not come with the lanyard hole. I asked for one because y'all know I love my lanyards. And a lot of the times... Um, this rides in my right front pocket if I'm wearing jeans. I don't put my wallet in my back pocket because it's really bad for your back if you sit on your wallet. So it'll either be um, if I'm wearing my Carhartts on the side pocket on my leg, or if I'm wearing blue jeans like today, my Levi's, it goes in the front right pocket. And these pockets are really deep. I'm actually gonna show you guys. Uh, I wear men's pants because girls' pants blow. So these are just like, men's like Wranglers or, or not Wranglers, Levi's, um, uh, their original pants, but their pockets are really, really deep. Look at how deep that is. So when I put the wallet in here, it's all the way down here. And if I have to grab it, um, honestly having a lanyard to pull it out, much easier for me. Okay, let's go on to the pen. Big idea design, titanium pen. Uh, I am going to get one eventually at some point made in the States. I've looked at the um, uh, tactical, oh my god, what is it called? Y'all told me about it. It's the one made in Texas with the bolt action thing. There's, there's one made in Texas and then also Rips Garage Tech makes a really cool pen uh, machined and all that made in America as well. But this one hasn't failed yet so I carry this every single day and I will until it breaks or something and then I'll replace it. And I do like that this one is very small. Like it's not too small. I tried their mini pen one time and it was very slim and skinny and it was like too small for me and Nicole actually loves it because she likes all the little stuff. But this one is like perfect size for me and this is the one that you can put uh, basically any refill in that exists. Okay, Nugget, what's next? She gets excited. She actually really likes the gear. Uh, when I pick my stuff out in the morning, she gets really excited to help. So uh, there's Nugget. Um, let's see. Next, pry bar to save my knife blade from prying. Um, I only pry with my knives if I have nothing else available to me, which yes, does happen or if I'm doing it for testing purposes, like with the 940. Um, however, if it's just a normal day, I will have a pry bar with me because I do a lot of prying, I guess. So this is the Mr. Nice Bar made out of full titanium and the ingredients are right there. Uh, this one, he anodized a chocolate color for me as requested. And this is also his B No One Ultim bead on there. So this is a full Mr. Nice Guy outfit right here. This is probably, I mean, not only is it genius, but it's just the most well thought out pry bar, the most useful one I've ever really found, aside from something simple like the uh, BGM Knives one that I have, like that's just a, a chunk of titanium. But in terms of design and being like aesthetically pleasing, this is, the, the most useful and genius design I've actually ever seen in my life for a pry bar. Like, look. Look at how much thought went into this, right? 
This is the pocket clip, which is obviously part of the bar. I love that he made a little lanyard hole and he makes his own beads for it. So this one's really cool. It's a cube and it hides the knot and um, it also has like a, a machining area at the top too. Um, it's just really a, a well thought out design. I love the bottle bottle cap thing. Y'all know I love my beer. Um, really nice large space there for prying and scraping, especially scraping. That's what I do a lot is, is scraping stuff. So it's just, it's just seriously genius. I've had this in my pocket every single day since I got it. I, I really, really enjoy it. And like I said, I mean, it saves my, my knife blade from prying staples or anything like that. So, uh, that is a must have all the time. I've carried a pry bar for eternity. Um, so usually I'll carry a Swiss army knife. I like having a small, very slicey blade. I've always carried a Swiss army knife. However, I'm just trying different things. So I put my Swiss army knife in my tool pouch, which just goes on the counter at work. And I am trying to carry something like this just to see if it satisfies my craving. Uh, so this is a, I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce this, titty you, tidy you, titty out. I don't, titties out! <laughs> I don't know what that says. It's, it's a great Eastern cutlery, Northwoods, I don't know. It's, it, they're all the same to me. They're just really, really nice American made traditional pocket knives that are cheaper and way better than case traditional pocket knives. So on this one, we've got, um, I think it's 1095 high carbon steel with a really pointy blade right there. So this is definitely not like hard use, but it, it's very nice for detailed work. And honestly, for me, slipping under roping to cut it and tags. So this is like the perfect uh, little tiny blade um, because I, I carry a fixed blade too which I will explain why later but like trying to shove this under a tree tag to cut it or under tree rope to cut it that's actually not gonna work <laughs> so having a very delicate fine slim edge to slide under those plants and pop pop off whatever you need to that's really, really nice. I th this is like a, a, a Viper style blade right there. That's really cool. And then on the other side, we just have a little um, pen, pen blade here. It's a little guy, really nice package. I, I really like the size of the carry and the handle. This slips perfectly into my watch pocket, but then when you open up the main blade, it is a full size small knife. So like, that's absolutely a, a decent length. You can get a good purchase on it. Everything about this is really fantastic and useful. So that's kind of my um, my little like fine detail rope cutter. And then my main blade today, which has been changing uh, by the day because I'm, I'm not testing this month, thank God. Um, today we ran the farm and field tool uh, bullnose. So this is a Great Eastern Cutlery, same kind of like brand as this. This is a bullnose, so very, very much a sod buster uh, type deal here. And again, a full, a full size knife, right? Really nice, really slim, lightweight. Slips in my watch pocket with the other one, but a full size knife. Um, this is gorgeous. This is also in 1095 high carbon, so it's starting to take a little bit of a patina. Um, yeah, you can't complain about this. I mean, look at the walk and talk, guys. I have to open it with this hand because it's so strong. Like, that's that's gorgeous, especially for the price. Green micarta polished scales, brass, pins, lanyard hole. I've got a, a little Ultim bead on here. This one's from Daily Custom Shop in Germany. Kind of looks like a Scoopy Loops which I really like. Uh, I really like that design, so I bought, I bought this one and threw it on there. And I just think it kind of looks, that's like a nice, a nice looking carry. So that was my main blade today. 
not the biggest fan of having to use two hands to open and close this, of course, but just for funsies and for trying it out. Um, it does have to be sharpened after one day of use. It didn't even make it through half the day, to be honest. It just, I'm not sure if this, this is more of a, this is probably more of a backup blade. It's not really a main blade for me and for my usage. I need something that can just cut all day and this already needs to be sharpened so I'll do a little touch up on that but a gorgeous knife that I can pair with whatever and then my 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 uh, fixed blade for the day was the BGM knives mini spade full flat ground in magna cut now this is probably my favorite fixed blade uh, definitely one of my favorite fixed blades it's just perfect so um, it is in Magna Cut, this time treated to 62 to 63 for a, a test, uh, a heat treat. Um, it's one of the best knives I've ever used. Um, the, the th I think the mixture of the thin grind, the higher heat treat, and putting multiple new edges on it, um, I think that was really the game changer with this one. And I'm, so I'm sorry that I keep looking over here. I have to watch my dog. Kane! Kane! No. Kane has a lot of issues like his mom, and he likes to eat poop when he's nervous or anxious. So I'm watching him to make sure he doesn't eat poo-poos. <laughs> I don't eat shit, I promise. <laughs> I just have other head issues. Um, so this is the blade that I will be using for all of the plant trimming and the produce trimming and stuff. So I've mentioned before I work at a, a farm we get tons of produce in and basically everything has to be trimmed up before you put it out for the customers especially when it first comes in uh we have to make like little houses for them to like grow in and stuff and to stay fresh in you have to trim all the bottoms off trimming leaves and stems and stuff and it honestly is pretty brutal at times i mean you're you're using your knife for hours and hours and hours it's high impact it's you have to have a thin sharp blade that can kind of just go forever and I find myself consistently reaching for this one. I used this for hours today and it still is cutting clean through paper. Um, it's pretty wild and the geometry definitely is on my side and in favor of winning for me. However, the Magna Cut, I can tell uh, this time around is really fantastic, especially after working through a couple of edges on this. So this is really a lifesaver for me. This is the knife that kind of like stays on the work table and just does all of my produce trimming for me. It's it's really comfortable. Um, the handle, the lack of ergonomics, the the fact that I can hold it like that, like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my gosh. Look at this, oh, that's perfect, especially for the detail cuts. Um, I uploaded a video, like a short earlier today, of me trimming like a leak just to show you guys like kind of what I do at work. And it, it's just, that's like perfect. Look, it just fits perfect. I mean, we have a little peephole right here, but that is really nice for those detail cuts. Zadie, okay, so Zadie also likes to eat poop, but she, where is she? There she is. Zadie, leave it alone. So Zadie likes to eat poop and mushrooms. She likes to trip on mushrooms, which is very odd. And she's always done that. I think my dogs are just totally fucked. They're cute, but they're fucked. Um, yeah. So there's the fixed blade. Saved my butt today. Just kept an edge like crazy. I'll, I'll strop it up tonight, but it's still, you know, cutting through paper. Um, and still got a little bit of stick to it. So that's the fixed blade. Um, and I just, I have to carry multiple blades. It's, there's no way that one blade would work for everything, especially because the, the produce blade, whatever I use for trimming the plants has to be, uh, like resistant to rust. I mean, it's sitting in water for hours and hours and hours. Like the plants are wet. They're being put into water. They're being, it's just like such a wet environment for the, for the plants. So it has to be stainless. Um, Magna Cut 100% stainless. Oh, we missed a boring thing earlier. Just the bandana. That goes in my back pocket. Always got a bandana. Always have carried that. The little toolkit on the belt. So we got a flashlight and a multi-tool here. And those are riding in the Tale of Knives. She couldn't tell you what model this is. I'm sorry. I don't pay attention to that stuff. I kind of just like look at things. If they look like they're, they'll work, I, I buy them and then 
the rest is history. I couldn't tell you what the name of this is. But it's it's from Tale of Knives. Really nice. Um, so this carries my flashlight and multi-tool. The flashlight right now that we're using is the E12 from Phoenix. The old school one. They have a new version, which I also have, but this is the one that I'm using right now. This one is a little thicker and like longer than the new version, and it just rides in this sheath better. So I stuck that in there. I think this is just a, a double A in here. Um, let's check. Yeah. There we go. I think it's got three modes. Tail click, really like that. Uh, one thing I really admire about this light is that it's completely flat at the top, so you can actually um, like stand it up perfectly, which the secret to floating shots on Instagram, like if you want to make something look like it's floating, you rest it on top of a flashlight, and uh, it'll make it look like it's floating, which is kind of cool. And then the multi-tool, as you guys know, is the Victorinox uh, Swiss Tool Spirit X. So this is um, slimmer than just the Swiss Tool. This has scissors. It's um, just more elegant, but still very strong. Pliers, we've got all, all the typical, you know, a knife blade, pliers. We've got scissors, file, uh, really nice 3D flathead like really, really nice if I can get it out here. Locking tools, all accessible from the outside. Uh, something like this is just a straight up necessity. I mean, I, I'm i constantly fixing things, uh, constantly fidgeting with things. And I think the scissors are some of the best I've ever used. Nice spring-loaded scissors. <sighs> um, yeah really really nice multi-tool and the blade on it is decent too uh, blades are a hit or a miss on these like multi-tools that have pliers and stuff but that's a, actually a decent a decent little blade like a nice little beater blade or your sterile blade if you're someone that does that we've talked about that on the channel before uh keeping like a razor a sterile razor on you at all times nicole dodge is texting me nice big flat head Maybe some light prying could be done with that. Just all, everything you would need, really. Oh, the, chi uh, the the little chisel scraper thing on this is mental. Check that out. I use that all the time. It's just a, it's just a wicked sharp little chisel. So this is another thing that Kane does. He just, um, if he wants attention, he drinks a lot of water. That means that he wants to play fetch and that he wants attention. All right, Kane, that's enough, buddy. He needs a lot of help. <laughs> um, that's everything. Yeah, aside from the Swiss Army knife, which I am trying to not carry for a little bit and see what happens, um, that's it. I use the tweezers and the toothpick on a Swiss Army knife all the time. I couldn't really figure out a way to carry tweezers without the whole knife package, but I did take an extra toothpick and put it in my wallet because my wallet's always on me no matter what and that just that just slides right next to my license in there the worst thing in the world is having something stuck in your teeth especially if like it's there and people aren't telling you Ugh. yeah so you just you gotta have a toothpick on you bro that's it that's all the stuff guys um yeah, let me know what you guys carry down in the comments. Um, if you have any questions, leave them. They have to be within the first 24 hours of me posting the video, otherwise I won't answer. Um, or DM me on Instagram, that's that's a better way to get a hold of me. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, that's it guys, that's that's what I carry. Lots of stuff, but it's all stuff I use all day, every day when, when I'm at work. So um, I will see you guys on the next video. Go use yo shit. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have an announcement. <clears throat> Attention, please. Go use your shit. That is all. Thank you. That's it, guys. <laughs> um, I will see you on the next video. Say goodbye, Google. Say goodbye. Say go use your shit. No, no, say it. Go use your shit, please. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>